outside, it's a freezing Arctic wasteland, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cinderapolis, Forsk, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The insane Colts go up against the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that too fast. <laughs> say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and six. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. One speed engaged. What are you trying to impress you? Not bad base to bring him in. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. He five fumble. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has said a foot one down at me on a kind of not clenching and cheating. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Now 
it's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse third down and well good luck don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking i mean when they're not young And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Catch that. Second down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. something going here first down and six and into the end zone with a burst of speed i think he's warming down his guy to the speed seat Grim. he's running from his team it's just clear hey you see that move baby no you didn't you know why i'm too fast i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Five yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Bricks. Great color work as usual. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Third down and five. And he 
He was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and oh, welcome to Bubble Town, U.S. Ooh, and that's what they call the money shot. The twenty. The ten. Touchdown! And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo-moo. Is she going to dry clean that before she gives it back to me? Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Nobody oh, light a match. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got that? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's primed, you idiot. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got an offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim! Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down! And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, win, but my watch is a bit slow. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the 
Good kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, pass the puck. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. right in someone's face. This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your head. I'm talking to you. Third down and eight. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And they'll line up for the punt here. Rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. Kick it. In that order, Grim? He 
it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and six. First down! They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money at him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. It's good. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a one dollar shot day. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first to ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he gets three yards on that run. Third down and nine. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. I think the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. Second down in a mile. Oh, nice hit. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Like Thor on. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That's 
the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and eight to go. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And that'll be second and eight to go. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and eight. And he runs it for four yards. You know, they don't have enough faith in their offense to put it in the end zone, so they're taking the easy route. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points. Let's move on. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And a hard run there, picks up the first down. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stutzing time. That's why the girls call He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something? Yourself. That's your and that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. Second down and a lot. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Third down and nine. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. They only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. And 
it's first and ten. Can I remind you that painting of dead carving a turkey? Grandma <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Rage would win. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's a defense, schmuck. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. First and ten. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Second down and two. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and forever. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pick. Mm, I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Third down. 
down in the QB, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this plans for me. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. cut to avoid the saw, but the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit! The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Second down in inches. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. The mutant eaters devour the opposition and win the game. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because well, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.